many people are ignorant about mental health it's crazy i mean if you ask an average person like um if you say someone has a mental illness what does it mean trust me try it you hear person is mad the person is mad especially if the person has not been on social media i mean really active and all of that hi guys how you doing my name is jadoni ajayi i'm a nigerian based psychotherapist and today i want to be talking about five myths about mental health things you don't know about mental health or things you thought you knew that i want to debunk real quick stay on this okay number one is the fact that mental illnesses are uncommon <laughs> to be honest that couldn't be further from the truth because originally speaking as, as of now where things are right now we can categorically say that one out of four people has some sort of mental illness and that's because a lot of us do not even understand the scope of what mental illness means. Illness is an anomaly. Anything that is not following the normal projection is an illness. Do you understand? So there's no big deal about being ill. The same way you won't feel bad about having malaria or having headaches or even having COVID because it's not your fault. It's just like where the world is at at the moment. It's the very same way that a mental illness should not be something that you should be stigmatized for so mental illness is very very common and nobody is exempt nobody is exempt little confession i i have or let me say i had or i am an anxiety disorder survivor because i went to therapy for it and this is actually a very sensitive issue for me because it's not like i'm i'm actually done with it but i call myself a survivor because i don't bask in the knowledge and say, oh, I have anxiety disorder. It's my life sentence. Or I don't have it. God forbid. I deny it. I rebuke it. I reject it. I do all of that. But I mean, think about it. If we all can come to terms with the fact that mental illness is common, it would help us to quickly destigmatize. Destigmatize is my emphasis here. So yes, mental illness is very very common of course in subsequent episodes i'll be explaining breaking down different mental illnesses to us but let us just not buy that narrative anymore that only a few selected few are mentally ill do you understand anything that affects your emotional composition your your, your behavior your reflexes everything about you that makes you you right and the most common mental illness in nigeria right now is depression and i don't even think you need a soothsayer <laughs> to tell you why depression is common in nigeria right so mental illnesses are actually very very common and that's why we all need to come together and fight the stigmatization that comes with mental health we need to sit down and have a very rearranged mindset about mental health so that we can actually grow this aspect of the health sector together and that takes us to number two mental health disorders are long and difficult to treat no no it's not a cause so that's another problem that we have just because something is wrong with you emotionally speaking for example it does not necessarily translate to a long-lasting or a chronic predicament that's not true with the help of readjusted lifestyle and therapy you can be rest assured that you can resume your normal life in no time at all and this is not to disclaim some mental illnesses that actually drag but that is it for every aspect of health even in the physical health too there are some things that just can't but be chronic so now imagine lumping every physical health 
illness or physical illness sorry into the chronic uh, category that's not going to be fair at all so not all mental illnesses are chronic or long lasting there are some that don't even take long at all something happens circumstances trigger you and you realize that oh my goodness i've got so much going on in my life and then you burn out and some things just go wrong with your system and you need time out it doesn't mean that you are going to be in that place forever that's not true so erase that mentality and help others to erase it too number three people with mental illnesses cannot handle everyday responsibilities and i laugh in hindu <laughs> because you will be surprised that even you that you're watching this video in the office right now <laughs> and you're working very fine but deep down you know that everything is not up right that's it the thing is we all have thresholds we have capacities to pull out everything that we need to do sometimes without breaking rank so the fact that just uh maybe for example you lost your dad and you've you've been having this terrible episodes with uh prolonged bereavement and it's leading to uh, complex bereavement disorder and it's looking like okay you don't even have a life outside of work people might not know you'll be surprised i've handled cases in my office where you know they come in looking literally dapper everything is in place social media on flick they are always posting back to back they are taking their children on, on vacations the families you know thumbs up but there's just this issue right and it does not stop them from doing the things they need to do so mental illness doesn't incapacitate you you know although as i said before there are some mental illnesses that would actually incapacitate you and so if you don't take care of it on time or if you keep suppressing if you keep allowing yourself to just let it go or let it slide do you understand a time would come that there would be some caving the point is simple mental illnesses do not change the outlook that you have towards your job it only affects the productivity under unmonitored circumstances so if it is well managed you will never ever ever have to be out of work have to live an isolated life and all of that stuff that we hear or we associate with mental illnesses you did and that takes us to number four mental illness is a symptom of weakness <laughs> it's a lie oh. <laughs> hey, hey. man you'll be surprised that the people that are doing great things in this our nigeria and are battling with a lot of things you will be very surprised and even you that you are listening you're watching right now you cannot be well, maybe you've never been in therapy and you don't know particularly what you've been diagnosed with it does not necessarily mean that you are weak just because you are you know having or going through something mental illness is not and would never be a sign of weakness and i think it actually starts from the um council culture so there's this really really awful thing that i've observed and it's the fact that when someone says for example like oh i'm depressed i'm in a bad place i'm going through stuff people just say snap yourself together come on get up be a man or come on you can do this be strong and you're like I did not say I'm weak. I only said that I am not in a place where I can say that I am fine mentally. There are two different things. So the society sometimes pushes this narrative down our throats. It's time to vomit it. Mental illness is not weakness. Mental illness is not weakness. I'm gonna take that really slow right now. Mental illness is not weakness. Rewind and read it again oh it is not weakness please and that's why people don't come for therapy because you're all like ah, i don't want people to see that something is wrong with me nothing is wrong with you darling it is just the fact that anything and everything that is functional sometimes malfunctions you dig your car functional abby but you take it to a mechanic not so that is it it's the same thing your body this system is functional sometimes things act up and that's absolutely normal including the mental health too so you are not weak just because you need to be checked up and helped and that's some period number five mental illness can be handled personally 
sorry, oh. personal assistant. Don't try it, oh. Viewers, this question. Don't try to handle your mental illness by your day. That's that is recipe for failure stuff. <laughs> so I know there are a lot of self-help books out there. A lot of oh, you can do this, you can achieve it. Aspire to Maguire, you know, all of that. Good for you, good and fine. Mm, I'm not going to dispute all of that with you, but I'm saying that we as humans are interdependent we are interconnected and sometimes there are some things we cannot handle on our own it's very simple look at the um projection or the dynamic called life just look at it i'm sitting on a chair right now this chair is supporting my weight right i need you guys at the end of the uh, at the other end of this video to watch it right for what i'm saying to have passed a message i couldn't just have been talking to myself am i correct you are working so that somebody else can uh get service and you to get you get paid for the service you are rendering so this world is so codependent it is what it is and you trying to now alter things when it comes to mental health is absolutely unfair to your mental health and what you are doing is you are playing banjo what is banjo so basically banjo is when you actually want something that is very valuable at no cost at all right and that's okay if you couldn't afford what you want to buy you know at the value you wanted it for but this is your mental health i repeat don't play banjo with it don't banjolize your mental health mm. I am the one, the way you're mental health should be taken seriously the same way you don't sit down at home and you, you, you're negotiating cancer in your room like okay don't worry all i have to do is read five books about cancer and i'll be fine see that thing all those kind of things they are good though when it comes to hype and all of that but what am i even saying they're not even good what are, what are... get help for your mental health please by all means make sure that you get help get help and i'm not saying that Sometimes you would not have it together enough to be able to snap out of certain situations. But if you can, why should you try to stay alone on your own if you can get help? So if you can, get help. There yeah, you have it. Thank you for watching my very first YouTube video. Aside from the teaser and that one, you can watch it right here. Right here. And so please, I beg you. <laughs> subscribe <laughs> and did you hear me i you know like i would king you understand it just is a talk i'm advising we are talking we are communicating am i not please subscribe to my youtube channel i'm trying to keep my under wraps so just let me subscribe that's 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 what i want to say subscribe and uh, see you very soon <laughs> Come on,